Hello. Hola. I'm so glad you're here today. Here today. Here today. I'm so glad you're here today, my friends in Sunday school. Hello. And if you noticed, I also said hello in Spanish. So since we shouldn't be hugging or getting really close to people right now, I found a lot of other ways to say hello or greetings or something we sometimes say in church, which is peace be with you. So hola, that's Spanish. Bonjour is French. Shalom means greetings in Hebrew. Aloha. Some of you who've been to Hawaii may have seen may have said that. One of my favorites is Namaste. And Asalam Aleikum. Now that's an Aramaic. And that's the language we think Jesus spoke. So I'm going to light today's candle. And the story I'm going to tell today is a story about how we learn how to be great, how to be the best, how to be number one. So Jesus and his disciples were walking to another town. And Jesus had already told him that his time on earth was almost gone. So some of Jesus' disciples, they were kind of arguing, well, who's going to be the best once Jesus is gone? Jesus stopped. And he said, what are you arguing about? Well, no one wanted to tell him. They were kind of embarrassed. Okay. But Jesus had already heard what they were arguing about. So he gathered all his friends around. Okay. Like he, was, he did with many of his stories. Okay. And he explained something about being the greatest. So Jesus said, if you want to be first and you want to be the greatest, you have to be last. You need to serve and help other people, especially those who need help the most. So Jesus went and he picked up a child. Okay. And he held her and he said, whoever welcomes this child and takes care of her welcomes me. They also welcome God. Well, he used the example of babies because we know babies are vulnerable and they're kind of powerless, but that doesn't mean they're not important. Now, I know all of you would help a young child. Okay? You'd help them go up and down stairs. You'd help to feed them. You'd help them to find their parents if they were lost. But Jesus also told his disciples and followers to help people other than children and maybe help people who have no way to pay you back or to pay you for anything okay you do to help them so maybe you've seen a homeless person asking for food pastor daryl told us a story about a homeless person he met and he actually took him into the grocery store and bought him good food. Now, most of you don't have a lot of money to buy someone food, but you can do other things to help people. 
I bet you know someone, maybe a grandparent or other friends, that you haven't been able to see or hug for a long time. Well, I have some relatives like that too. So I made a card. Okay, Here's the card I made for my aunt and she lives in North Carolina. Now my family holds a big reunion in the town she lives in now. But I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna go to that reunion this year because there's usually about 80 or 90 of us there and that may not be safe this year. So I made her this card put a picture of us in the beach on the inside, and I'm going to mail it to her just to say hi and to keep in touch. So get your parents and get them to give you some supplies so you can make a card or two or three. Okay, and make a card and then you can either mail it or deliver it at a safe distance. So that's your challenge for this week. Reach out to someone that you haven't been able to be in close contact with. I'm going to do one more week of a Sunday school lesson, so make sure to tune in next week. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for teaching us the act that we are created and loved by God. We are all special to God and to this church. Jesus, thank you for teaching us to serve and love others. And all of God's children said, Amen. Our lesson is ended for today. But again, I gave you a challenge. So hopefully, I will see you again next week. Bye for now, and please stay safe.